Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and again, something a little different for you. But for our project today, I am going to feature the um, BB Cameron's Snowflake Collection um, by with Spellbinders. This is a gorgeous collection, and yes, it's all about snowflakes. Um, which are beautiful things and I just love them. I'm going to show you what the collection looks like and then I'm going to show you what the project is that we are going to create. I'm going to real quick um, show that once I get through these. So let's start with the collection. So part of our collection are these adorable little label dies. Um, they have a pierced edge after it's die cut and these are called pierced mini labels so these will be great for any of your sentiments this here is called the pop-up snowflake so it sits in the center of your card so when you open it this will pop right out of it it is a three-tier beautiful piece that sits in the center of your card up next, she has a glimmer foil plate, and that's here uh, with these beautiful detailed snowflakes. So you can create a background, um, you can create a border, however you would want them to go. And then there's a coordinating die. So if you wanted to glimmer this and then die cut to have the individual snowflakes, you can do that as well. And it does come with a sentiment and a banner die that goes through that says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Another die set, this is called Delicate Snowflakes, and these are layering snowflakes. You have the cloud or, or the shadow, and then you have a piece that will sit on top. There's floral images that is attached to a couple of these snowflakes, which is great, or you can add florals. Why would we do that? Well, it's a way to stretch your die because these don't only have to be for the winter time and those holidays that are in the winter time. We can make these all year round. It's a good thing that the snowflakes doesn't fall all year round, but we can design them all year round. So you can use any colors that you would want, which I think is ingenious. She has a stamp sentiment and die set called snowflake wishes now it does not come with the magnetic strip that i put that in there and you have these three banner sentiments sending believe and wishing and then the great thing is the stamp set that goes with it that fills in this banner that would go right underneath each of those die cut sentiments all types of occasions all things are possible you a happy retirement you a speedy recovery seasons greetings heartfelt sympathy a card to say hello a very merry christmas in yourself so you know you could say believe in yourself sending you a speedy recovery so lots of choices here so again something else that you can use all year round and not just for the holidays or a season. We also have this beautiful large die. I mean, that's how big it is. Um, this is the Snowflake Card Maker. Um, so you can have a shaped card by using this. And this as well comes with the cloud and also the piece that sits up top. Very detailed, very dainty. So be careful when you're taking it out of the die. There is a definite reason with all of those puncture holes to get your piece out. Use them. <clears throat> it makes it go so much better uh, when you use them. And then again, we have some florals, some holly, twigs, um, a flower that can be made into a poinsettia or a regular flower, some general flowers here, some buds, and some centers and small flowers as well. So again, and pine needles so again something we can use all year round not just for the holidays or winter 
And then she has a layering stamp. It creates two size ornaments into bells. So you have the main ornament here, you have the inner part and then the layering snowflakes on top. This thing, the areas to make it into a bell and then the bows and the line for the ornament and also the masks that you can use as well if you want to reverse it. And this is called the Snowflake Ornament Stencil. So these are the products that are in the collection. That is the full collection and I will have it linked down below if you want to see more inspiration, more details and so forth. We are going to use the majority of this collection in our project. I think one of the things that I did not use uh, was the stencil or the labels, but everything else was pulled in. So what could this project be and what's this series going to be all about? Let me get those out of the way. Yes, it's another album. Um, it's a little alligator, so it's a little whooshy there. Um, so I could have changed some things, but I do love the way that it came out. You can see the card maker die on the front the delicate snowflake on the spine with a charm. Both are sitting on the back. And what this album is doing is it is holding cards. So there are going to be three cards that we are going to make in this series. I'll show you the ways that we made uh, the pages as well. But in this case, here's our first card. All the cards are interactive, meaning they're uh, fun folds. So this here is an easel. Why is that not going up? There we go. This is an easel card that sits up like that and it just continues up along the top. And then our next card that I will be showing is a gatefold Z fold flip. So I'm going to show you how we did that. That focuses on the glimmering and that panel's hidden behind that other panel. And again, the pages will be shown. And then our final card that I will be showing is the beautiful snowflake pop up and how I made those three layers coming in. All of the cards that were made are five by seven in size, uh, but you can adapt them to a regular card size um, if you wish. So um, some of the videos will be voiced over. Some of them will be what I refer to as live as a step by step. Um, some of the areas will be, you know, sped through. So different levels. We're going to have the cards separated out into three videos. Then I will have a video showing how the pages are constructed and basically decorated. And then finally, the last video will have the front and, or second to last, will have the front and the back. So basically the outside cover and how we put that together. And then at the end, we will have the final reveal again in detail of what this album looks like. So you saw the main products that I used and that's, I will be focusing on BB Cameron's um, new collection called Snowflake. And you saw, I did use some pattern paper and it's by Authentique called Snowfall. How appropriate. Um, I just thought this was beautiful and just absolutely perfect to accent her collection. If this is still available, I'll have this link down below as well. You'll need your tape, double-sided tapes. You'll need your liquid glue. You will also need your paper creaser, a scoreboard, and a paper trimmer if you wanted to craft along with me. So I've set the videos up so that you can pick and choose what you want to watch. I do hope you to watch the entire series. Again, this is a way to stretch your collections, stretch your dies and stamps, 
to create something else that can hold your memories. All the products will be listed down below along with the Spellbinders Gallery so that you can be inspired even more through this collection. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below as well. Make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up, make sure you hit that bell for notifications so that you know when the next video is ready in this series for you to watch. Thank you so much for being here, each and every one of you. Um, I truly and greatly appreciate it. But as always, remember what's most important. Always be creative and let's start with card number one in the next video. I'll talk to you over there.